Hello avid watchers and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Gary and Penny Marshall are still regarded as one of the most powerful sibling duos in Hollywood history. The late brother and sister enjoyed great success together, Gary as a renowned TV producer and director, and Penny as an actress and barrier-breaking director. From the start, the two stuck together. Though Penny had been told she was unattractive early on in her Hollywood career, as reported by the Washington Post, Gary had faith that someday his younger sister would prove all her critics wrong. She'd come home in tears, Gary told the New York Times in 1992. I said, they'll learn to like you. They just don't understand you yet. They will someday. First came success for Gary, who paired up with Jerry Balsam to adapt Neil Simon's play The Odd Couple to a TV show in 1970, after working on The Dick Van Dyke Show, The Lucy Show, and more in the 60s. Realizing his sister's talents, Gary brought Penny onto The Odd Couple to play Myrna for four years. From there, Penny, whose film debut was in 1968 comedy How Sweet It Is, which Gary produced, started to see more and more success. My brother gave me a life, Penny told Entertainment Tonight in 2016. It's not many people who have a brother who give them a life. He gave me a life and I appreciate it and I tried not to let him down. The two continued to work with each other while gaining more notoriety. Gary went on to create the ever-popular sitcom Happy Days and eventually the spin-off Laverne and Shirley, which Penny starred in and directed four episodes of. On this project, however, Penny and Gary went through a particularly tumultuous phase due to creative strife. According to what Gary told NPR, Penny had all sorts of ideas on how to improve the Laverne and Shirley show which became a top-rated show in its seasons that ran from 77 to 78. While Gary once admitted that her suggestions did make the sitcom better, their relationship became more difficult to navigate as the show's success grew. It was the toughest show or project I ever did, was Laverne and Shirley, he recalled, mostly because it's my sister and you can't hide from your sister, he continued. Suddenly, she was Laverne and she was in the number one show, and it was difficult for me because I do pride myself on being able to make people happy, and the one person I couldn't seem to make happy was my sister, Penny, on Laverne and Shirley. Talking to New York Times Magazine on to in 2012, Gary also reiterated the toll Laverne and Shirley took on his relationship with his younger sister. That was my worst show experience. The 70s were druggy years on a lot of shows. It was just a mess, but of course, I still talk to her. I don't think you can tell your family that you can't come in the house. What's more, in the book Happier Days, Paramount Television's classic sitcoms from 1974 to 1984, author Marley Brandt details further onset friction between Penny and co-star Cindy Williams. Cindy reportedly felt that her character Shirley was getting slighted and even walked off set one day. In 2015, Cindy claimed that despite off-camera disagreements, everyone was dedicated to making the audience laugh on the sitcom. It's like an Italian family at a dinner table on Sunday and somebody doesn't pass the celery properly. Cindy joked to E.T., there's always going to be arguments. Regardless of their time working on Laverne and Shirley, it's clear both Gary and Penny had tremendous love for one another before their respected deaths. Gary died on July 19th, 2016 from complications of pneumonia following a stroke, and Penny died on December 17th, 2018 due to complications of diabetes. I wouldn't have a career if it wasn't for my brother, Penny said in an interview for the Television Academy Foundation. Let's be honest, he's the one who pointed me in this direction. That's all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.